Hey class, I uh, wanted to give you a video lesson for um, an introduction to Tableau to help, you, help you get started this week. Um, go ahead and jump right in. I've attached to this lesson uh, the script that uh, that details all the steps. This was an originally assignment that you were supposed to turn in, but I'm going to change the assignment so that it's just, um, you know, submitting a few a few different uh, views uh, <clears throat> using the show me feature in Tableau. I'll explain what that is in just a second. So uh, for the first thing we need to do is go ahead and download Tableau Desktop. The key is on the uh, this week's lesson. You need to download it from this link. Um, if you ask for an email address, use your Wake Tech email address. And then after installing Tableau, launch it. The first one, you, the first screen you'll come to is your launch page. So let me go ahead and open that up. So this is what the launch page looks like. Um, I recommend that you watch these videos under getting started. Um, if you just click play here, it'll send you to a um, the Tableau uh, website, and notice it'll have this reg delay equals true. Normally, you have to um, well. normally have to uh, register before you can watch these videos, but um, I, I do recommend that you sign in and get a Tableau account. Use your Wake Tech email because. There's quite a lot of uh, information out here, and I'll show you the learning under free training videos. Uh, there's a lot of really, I mean, this is how I learned how to use Tableau is under these learning videos. There's just a lot of, of really good uh, videos here. So for, for basically everything. But I'm also going to be making you know these video lessons every week um, so that it kind of falls in line more with our class. But if you'll see under here, I mean, there's just... Everything you want to do in Tableau, there's a video for it. All right, so let me go back to the lesson. Um, you'll need to enter in your key, and uh, <clears throat> if you, uh, it should it should ask you for the product key. But if not, you can go to Help and Manage Product Keys and copy and paste that key in. Um, let's talk about this start screen. If you see on the left, there's the connect. Um, these are where you can connect all the different ty file types. And then here's your past workbooks. And then the discover videos are there. Um, for most of the, uh, you know, the, the lessons that we'll be doing, uh, they're using this sample superstore data set. And that's a, it's, it comes with every version of Tableau. So if you click on that, that's what the, uh, that's what the first lesson goes through. It's creating these uh, some visualizations using this um, this data set. Um, so now I just want to talk about the uh, give you an overview of uh, the UI. Um, first thing you know is to kind of establish some vocabulary. This is the top menu, uh, file, data, worksheet, and then these are the, this is the icon menu below it. Uh, to the left, you'll see this whole pane here. It has the data and analytics tabs. If you click on analytics tab, you see there's not a whole lot of analytics yet available, but I have a feeling they'll be you know, building more and more as, as the versions go along. So mo mostly you'll just keep it on the data tab here, and you'll see right underneath the data tab are your data sources, and we just have one here, and it has this cylinder-like container. If you right-click on it, you can see the options for the data source. Underneath it is the dimensions pane. Now, if you notice on the dimensions pane, there's a couple of little icons here that I mentioned um, throughout the lessons. One is the view data tab, uh, view data icon rather. And this just shows you what the data looks like coming into Tableau. And it also shows you what the, um, the calculated fields that Tableau creates, the values that that holds. And we'll, we'll get into that later. You can search for a particular, you know, if you have a lot of variables, you can search uh, for the variable this one we can see all the variables here so it's not not as needed and then there's this little down arrow that has some different data source options so you can create a calculated field a parameter and some different options there then you have your dimensions pane here and this is just showing you all of the variables that are dimensions in your data set um, and then below it is the measures pane and these are all your numbers in the data set so anything that's classified as a number and a continuous number. The green means continuous, the blue means discrete. Um, and underneath that are the sets uh, and parameters. We'll get, those are, we'll, we'll touch on those later. Um, on the, 
on the lesson, I've, I've uh, posted this uh, Tableau terminology. I, I use this a lot in the scripts. I talk about pills. The pills are just variables. So when you drag something onto the screen, it'll create a, a pill. Uh, and then you drag it onto a shelf. So uh, let me just show you what that means. So if you just click on any variable, click and hold and drag it, you can drag it into any of these shelves. Okay. And then when you do so, it's going to create this pill. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the mark shelf down here, and there's different options for the mark shelf. You can use color, size, text, detail, or tooltip. Um, and then the filter shelf, if you want to filter anything in the view. Uh, the pages aren't used. They're very rarely used. Um, they're only for more complex visualizations. Um, but it's usually the columns, rows, and the mark shelf that you'll be using. And then, um, so I'm not going to walk through the uh, the lesson, but I do recommend that you do that. I'm not requiring that you turn it in. What I'm doing instead is I'm attaching the data set that, uh, oh, and I've lost it for some reason. The data set that um, is the, you know, the answers for the assignment. Um, and I'm having a hard time. Oh, that's not the right one. Um, let's see if I can open it here. There we go. And just take just a second. So I'm, I'm giving you the answers and uh, allowing you to deconstruct how this is built. Um, but next week, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to give you another one of these assignments with the answers and then giving you a separate assignment that basically gets you to practice what we learned in that assignment. <clears throat> okay, let me find this. Okay, so here's the answers for that first, uh, that first lesson. So I just want to show you real quickly how this is set up. Um, you see we have the green sum of profit um, and then a category and subcategory. So on the rows shelf. <clears throat> so this is just creating a bar chart, a, hor a horizontal bar chart. If you click this button up here, this is like swap. So if you click that, it's going to swap your columns and your rows. So now we have a vertical bar column. Um, just quickly go over this. Tableau is really good at generating maps. So it's using the country, state, and city to generate the lot, longitude and latitude of, of those cities. Um, and then creating a map that shows you know, how big the dot is, is based on the uh, size, is, is the size is based on the sum of sales. So the, the bigger the dot, the more sales. And the green and the red is showing you how much profit are there. Any uh, any view that you have down here? Oh, I forgot to mention these this part down here. You, you can go back to the data source at any time by clicking on the data source tab. And there you can see uh, the different columns. Uh, if you want to change a, a field in any way you can do that here so there's um, you can there's a couple things where you can split you can change the data type here um, you can combine it with other worksheets so you can do some joins and basic uh, data data transformation there um, and then each of these tabs down here is a view so you see it's just it just describes the view uh, just the text and you can rename these by double clicking and then just changing uh, changing that now then you'll see a couple of icons down here this is for a new view new worksheet I call them worksheets or views um, and then beside it is a new dashboard and the dashboard is just a collection of views so if we click on dashboard okay we're almost finished I, I think this is a good overview to start with but um, you can just drag and drop any of these views in here to create a dashboard. And we'll get into this uh, in a couple of weeks. And then there's also a thing called stories. That's basically kind of like a PowerPoint for data. Um, I think that's where we'll end today. Uh, if you right click on any of these, you can you have some options there. So I'm just going to delete this. Um, but uh, 